Hi everybody, this tutorial is about uh, the website service called Edmodo that you might be using for your classroom. Specifically today uh, in this uh, video we want to talk about how to use RSS and how to get that into your Edmodo account and also how to push your RSS feed from your Edmodo account out to other website services. So part one in this video in particular we'll look at how to import or add a feed from an existing website into your Edmodo account. So on any one of your classroom pages that you have set up, if you hover over the group code for the uh, group name there, you'll get the pop-up menu. From that pop-up menu, if you choose feeds, you'll have the ability to add any existing RSS feed that you can find. This particular one I've already got added is from CNN.com. So if we swing over to CNN.com, which you'll see in the address bar in Firefox and in Safari and Internet Explorer, it's in a very similar place. You'll see the RSS icon listed to the right of the, uh, the URL towards the end of that address bar. If you click on that RSS subscribe, you can either subscribe to CNN Top Stories or Recent Stories. I'm going to choose Top Stories. And what CNN will do when you click on the RSS link, uh, or what Firefox will do, is take the feed from CNN and convert it into something called XML. And what that will do is parse the feed into little bits so you'll have the title of the uh, website, uh, the byline, and then the name of the article, the date, and a summary, and then some other add to or dig this or share options that you might have at the bottom of that article. So it creates a nice simple, uh, called Real Simple Syndicated Feed, or RSS feed, from that particular website. So what I can do to add this to my Edmodo page is grab this URL and copy it and I've already done this and so then I would add a feed here and drop in the feed URL right there as I've already done for, for CNN. So that's to how to add an existing published website uh, like CNN. What you might also find is that you want to add a feed from something like your PBWorks web page. Same idea here that you could grab the RSS feed from your PBWorks web page. Um, you know, same idea, grab the URL there. Or if you had an existing blog, WordPress blog, or a blogger uh, account, or even your, your, the RSS feed from your Twitter account, uh, you could pick up that feed wherever you can find the RSS URL from basically any source on the, uh, on the internet. You could find that URL, copy it, swing back over to your Edmodo feeds page, and add a feed, drop in the URL, buy a paste, Again. Paste and click subscribe. And what that would do is automatically add that feed to your Edmodo page. Now when I go back to the home page, what you'll see is that it doesn't automatically start feeding entries right away into my uh, classroom feed. It usually takes about an hour after you add one feed to start adding entries to your uh, to the run. But here's one that I added from before, and this is from a, a colleague of mine's PBWorks homepage. So the students would automatically be notified, students in that group would be notified of changes or additions to this feed or any of the other feeds that you have subscribed to. So that's a particularly, particularly handy feature, feature, especially if you have a teacher web page or a teacher blog or Twitter account or if you have pre-approved news sites or news feeds that you want your students to be aware of. It's a good way for them to log into one place and get everything they need. In part two of this series, we'll look at how to push your Edmodo Classroom page feed out to additional sources.